Hey guys, if you want to become a better archer, better bow hunter, you've came to the right place. I'm Levi Morgan, this is Bow Life Boot Camp, and we're about to dive into everything archery. Hey guys, Levi Morgan here. This is lesson number four in Bow Life Boot Camp on Target Panic. And this week we are covering the final segment of Target Panic for this Bow Life Boot Camp series, and it is called Hair Trigger. This is something that I have dealt with recently, something that I have ran into several, several times um, over my career. And so I'm gonna go over it with you. I know a lot of us will shoot a very light release. And I have been known to shoot a very light release my entire career. From a hinge to a button, I shoot it best when I just barely start applying pressure and it goes. Problem with that is that that causes some anxiety, especially when your pin starts moving around and you get nervous. You freeze, you're scared to touch it, your thumb will start, or your index or whatever will start, you'll get to where when you're, you start to shake, you're, you wanna hover over it instead of putting pressure because literally it takes no pressure and it's, it's gone. That creates major problems mentally. Um, freezing up, uh, scared to execute, scared to move, set it heavier. A lot of people are like, can't get my release to fire. I just cannot get it to go off, um, can't execute, and they think that they need to go lighter. When in all reality, the problem is they're just afraid to execute because it's already set so light. So I'll tell somebody, set it super heavy. Um, so I'll take this hinge for, for example, I've got it set to where it won't even fire almost. And so they'll have to work through it to get it to fire. They'll have to start the movement. They have to commit to get it to fire. So there's never a space where they're just froze up on that release. They're just waiting for nothing to happen. They literally have to get in and you have to move while you're aiming. You have to move and keep it moving and keep it moving and then it'll fire. That's the key to overcoming um, that mental block of shooting a hair trigger for so long. Now I agree, shooting a light release is probably the most accurate way to shoot it. But over time, if you shoot a release that light, you will develop a form of target panic where you start freezing and not executing. And that causes you to have to literally almost in your mind go, it's time to execute now. And that's when you see people starting to, you know, hammer the trigger or they just start what I would do um, a lot of times is I would just start applying really fast pressure. So I'd be hovering, hovering, it would settle. I go, just start applying almost a like command. I knew when it was gonna fire. Terrible, terrible idea to shoot that way. You can shoot accurate for a while, but then it gets worse and worse and worse. Before you know it, you've got full blown target panic. So set it heavier, don't set it lighter. Hinge, button, set your button so heavy it's just gonna sit there and bend around and you can just apply it just dig in and heavy 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 to get it to fire same with the caliper release just set it heavy um, you're gonna be amazed at how your release is gonna fire quicker because you're gonna be forced to execute next dig in kind of the same thing I just said a lot of people I see it because their hero shoot this way and and so they think that's how they got to shoot they'll shoot a caliper release and they'll stick their tip of their finger on it or even their middle finger and they're just, just up here with all the other ones just kind of floating around like this right here. And then their back arm never moves because they're punching the release. Same with the thumb button. And I don't shoot dug in normally, but I don't have target panic right now. If I did, you cannot shoot a button or an index release with the tip of your finger if you have target panic. Something about that sensation you get it out here and you feel that button just on the tip of your finger and you know all you gotta do is that to get it to fire and that's exactly what you're gonna do. So, set it heavy. Next one, dig in. What I mean by dig in, I want you to wrap your thumb if you're shooting a button. I want you to wrap all the way around and just dig deep. And then what you do, instead of mashing anything with any individual finger, you're gonna start relaxing your first finger into the button and fire it that way. Another tip that Joel Turner taught me, and um, it really works well for dealing with anxiety. Um, instead of just trying to feel that with the tip of your thumb, you're gonna wrap it, 
and then start relaxing your index finger until that barrel is pushed into your thumb instead of the opposite of that. Same with this thing right here. I hate seeing guys that are punching the release do that tip of the finger flare out look that I'm not even sure what that is. And then their back elbow stays the same and their hand just stays right here because they're punching the release every single time and uh, not a good way to do it. So you want to wrap here and just start pulling through, pulling through, not a pink. <laughs> that's punching the trigger. That's target panic. I don't care what anybody says. That is target panic. If you do that, you have target panic or you're just doing it plain wrong, one of the two. So wrap your finger deep, pull through, pull, pull, pull into that trigger. No just sudden movement. Hinge, same way, you wanna set it heavy, get deep, just start working through it. Um, keep it moving, that's the third point. Once you start, you have to keep moving. That was in my first lesson with accepting the movement. Never stop executing. And uh, one thing setting the release really heavy is gonna do is force you to keep executing. And when it's set light, you can stop, freeze, go. That hair trigger causes all kinds of, of problems if you have target panic. Yes, it's a very accurate way to shoot if you can control it. But if you can't, if you have target panic, a hair trigger is a big, big no-no and you are playing with fire for sure. All right, a drill that goes with this lesson, uh, just something I call working through it. Um, so we're just trying to eliminate problems and if you're shooting a hair trigger like I've talked about or a way that I've talked about in any of this video, um, I want you to try something and it's setting your release so heavy that it won't fire. I've got a couple set here pretty much that heavy. So what I want you to do is pull back after you do this, just like you're gonna shoot. Anchor in and just start working. I've got a spring on this thumb button for movement. But it just start working that release, working that release, working that release, working it, never stopping. And when your shot starts to break down, just let down and start over. And this one will obviously fire, but you gotta really press it hard. Same with the hinge. Set one so hard and so heavy that it will not fire. Just pull back and start working. And sure, at first you're gonna have some jumps because you're dealing with target panic and you're expecting it to go off like it normally does right here. But I just want you to keep working through it, working through it. When your shot breaks down, let up. But when you're aiming, never stop that movement. Um, it's a great drill to ease your mind, to teach you to work through your release while your pin sits in the middle and not be freezing as soon as your pin goes away from the target. You know, I, a lot of you might not know if you were dealing with target panic or any of that. A good way to tell if you're punching the trigger, have somebody video you with the foam. And the number one thing I can see if somebody's anticipating when their shot's going off, I can instantly tell if somebody knew when their release was going off, if they punched that release. Their follow through is non-existent. It, their hand stays right here the whole time because they knew when it was going off, they tense up to brace for that shot and so therefore they have no follow through. Or guys try to intentionally add follow through in like this. Not a, not a smooth looking shot. So have somebody film you. If that's the way you look, you are definitely punching the release. You definitely need to work on your execution, your target panic, mental game, all kinds of things. So I want you to end up looking like this. You're gonna come to full draw, you're gonna work through it and your back arm is just gonna break away because you don't know exactly when that release is going off. You should always just be aiming and boom, that, that back arm just breaks away freely. Not some flagrant, intentional follow through. So this was the last lesson on target panic. I hope it helps you setting your release heavy, working through it, don't stop moving. Um, all these things will make you a better archer. Maybe not in the beginning. You're probably gonna struggle with some of these things just cause it's gonna feel weird. But over time, your groups are gonna get smaller, you're gonna gain more confidence, more peace of mind while you're shooting, and you will become the best archer that you could ever potentially be by shooting correctly.